Hello, this is Damodoc82, and uh, we are back here for more of the Steaming Pilot Ship Tournament. And I am uh, here with uh, some friends in voice chat. We got uh, Heitzmeister, Geodarian, and uh, Iron Mark III in Norwegian Inquisition. How you doing, guys? I'm good. Well enough. Excited, you might hmm. say. Perfectly fine. Um, not bad. I'm slightly angry about the fact I can't have a cookie right now, but if I sound annoyed that it's because of that, it's not because of Dama or the fight. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. So today we have Geoship, the GWS Praetoria. Stop me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. I don't think there is a right way to pronounce this. Quite possibly. You know, made up names are just pronounced however you want to. That sounds Roman. That's is, what I was yes. thinking myself, yeah. Yeah, uh, so Praetoria would be the pronunciation. Yeah, it's from, you know, uh, the Roman word Praetor. So it looks yeah. like you did some mimic work with these railings back here? Uh, only next to the gun so they wouldn't get shot? Yeah, I've had to do that too for s similar reasons. Uh, that and I don't... Can detection look through them now? I don't remember. Yes, it can. Okay, but lambs won't work for, through them though. So, yeah, that's a thing too. Uh, Geo, is there anything you'd like to note about this ship before we start the battle? Mm, except, uh, basically, I just was building a ship and happened to see, oh shit, there's a tournament going on. Fair and enough. I forced this ship into that. So basically, you shoehorned the ship in for this tournament. Gotcha. Yeah, and I rushed it like hell. Oh. Uh, considering you rushed it, the, uh, the aesthetics on it are very nice. Good job with that. Off. I do have a question for you, Gio. Uh huh. Where are the side bulges I normally associate with your designs? Uh, that's where the second layer of uh, fucking. No, I mean, like, wouldn't, wouldn't it be are. like a, a bigger bulge around the uh, hmm. central citadel area? I didn't have the time to build up a big bulge on this one. You will have to uh, do the small one. His uh, the amount of materials he uses is just uh, probably about what forty two thousand under. So he did have a little bit more wiggle room on this, but I guess he just ran out of time. Am I correct? Yeah, I struggled to fit in more things to just use up the materials. Mm -hmm. so well, hopefully that won't, that won't uh, be too much of an issue for you. Uh, the mm. other entry that we have over here, the TID Trident from Superminer19. Uh, I thought he did some very interesting things with the aesthetics on this as well. And he's got like torpedo launchers all over this image. So that could be, oh, uh, yeah. yeah, this could be fairly interesting. I believe they are fragmentation torpedoes. Oh no. Yeah. You sound very worried there, Gia. Uh, well, they are know, unguided. No, Don't my worry. idea was, uh, you know, unguided torpedoes. Who the fuck would ever use that? That's... No. <laughs> so I don't need to put pro torpedo protection on my ship. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have a lot of ships have torpedoes. Oh yeah, <clears throat> uh, yeah I Mark Threes has them. My part. Um, who else has them? I think it was also. Um... I have them. The Nalaru has them. Mm -hmm. um, the Trident has yeah. them. As we see right here. Specifically, you know, in the bottom, I have a sloped hull, and that's precisely where torpedoes hit. That's where my armor is the weakest. Woo! All right then. So, any predictions or comments before I un unpause the match? Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, the trident will sink of the torpedoes. Sergio. Could very well happen. And uh, can, we, can, can we get a close look at the trident again, please? Yes. Absolutely. Go ahead, uh, Norwegian. If I'm not wrong, the like um, guns on the um, trident. Just so you know, these no, are torpedo I mean, launchers. The... Hmm. Yeah, but I didn't know. I I thought the names were different. The like um, Pretoria, I mean, that will sink of the torpedoes and the. It can't sink. There is no such sinking with alloy. It's only oh, that yeah, is true. true. Yeah. And uh, my other prediction is that the like Trident can get like really fucked by its guns. Because um, I think they are powerful. I think. The, I do believe that Not they sure. are using six meter autoloaders on it. Um, Damn, also it looks really, really good. May yeah, they... I add, add something? Oh yeah, go ahead. I'm just excited to see the wall of uh, casemate fire from uh, coming from the <laughs> Yes, that, yeah. that should be quite interesting. 
Should have made it longer. This is... I expanded... No, I lengthened this ship three times just to get it somewhere close to the material limit. Mm -hmm. The original one was like 50 meters shorter or something like that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I am. To be honest, people, people have been... Um... Some people have been quite dismissive about the casemates, saying that like they're really weak pop guns or not expecting much compared to. Aren't they like the way more planet? efficient per they, material they than APS? Space efficiency, probably, but no, mat, mat uh, material uh, efficiency. Ah, uh. uh, not as such. Um, the, it is mostly space efficiency for the weight of shell they provide. And in batteries like you've got there, they can be very effective at saturation oh, yeah. and damage. It's just individual shots aren't that great, generally, from a case mate. But Not from normal deal. APS either, you know? Um, Actually, normal APS, that's just it. You can really customize a normal one. Case mate, you're stuck at 150, whatever shell you 180 meters. Yeah. That depends on the type. Mm. Not oh, mine. Yeah, 150 is a single, isn't it? Mm, 130 millimeter a single. Yeah, then the, the doubles are 150. Mm -hmm. Yes, and 1.8 meter long. Yeah. So but, if... Uh, be a fairly medium-sized shell. Anyway, and yeah, the thing is, Geo, you've got you don't have torpedoes, and your nope. torpedo defense isn't that good. Uh -huh. what you're saying, but alloy construction will keep you from sinking, and you have many, many guns. Uh -huh. So I think fourteen. I think Please it's make. a coin flip, honestly. Yeah, I. Come out on top of this. I have a feeling it's going to be a fairly more evenly matched than some of the fights that we've had earlier. No, not that I'm. Trying to say there is anything wrong with those ships or anything. <clears throat> oh, it's just the matchups haven't been favorable to one or the other in some of them. Yeah. Hmm. All right, so uh, let's get this party started. There we go, our first salvos. Oh, there it is. Getting us some pretty nasty shots on each other. It looks like most of the uh, Geo's shells are just kind of skipping off the water here and going straight to the superstructure. Yeah, but the yeah, I'm gonna get a, a, a field lead, but I'm not really hitting anything. Uh, she is not hitting anything important. I, I don't know. Sent main, oh, main Ooh, you already lost a through. turret. Two turrets. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Three Those turrets. turrets like Holy shit. That's that... also my steam engine's gone, I think. Very well could be. Um, Is that steam yeah, yeah. venting out there? Yeah, it was. Yeah, no props are turning. Yeah, that... yeah I see some mm -hmm. hits from the torpedoes. Ooh, there that goes another turret! Like the... I, I think um, your I'm gonna alloy to that. Yeah. Yeah, armor piercing shells too. Yeah, alloy does not handle armor piercing salvos very well. Now, let's see but if we can have, have a look have at the shell mates. configurations. Um, Yeah, those look like. Yeah, those are AP. AP frag. Okay. Perfect Super counter. So this, two. this might be a bad matchup for you, actually, Gia. Um, very well be, yeah. Actually, cool. we do have a bit of a problem here. Do we? Well... Super calves. Yeah, super calves. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. There was earlier. Some mm. calves were um, super calves. How much have you been hit below the waterline? Check Gio's ship. I uh, saw it's pretty uh, quite a lot. Oof. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Some of that might be torpedoes, but that yeah, that looks like below waterline shell hits. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to uh, take this back out to the um, creative mode and retrofit these shells because yeah, that's that's a no go for the uh, super cavitation. Oh. But no uh, the torps so, are good though. Uh, torps well, are, are perfectly fine. Torps, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. As long as the torps are, are not guided, then that's fine. Uh, I thought it was suspiciously quickly to lose my steam engine. I I thought that as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save the settings for this, and we're going to get the the next bracket. Um, I guess I could do the next bracket. Well, next bracket, bracket or do you want to? Back out and change the shells. I I think I want to back out and change the shells real quick. Okay. It should only take a moment. 
sorry to do, be doing this okay. on camera, guys. Um, I'm going to pause it right here, and we'll come back uh, when we have it set correctly. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Sorry about that. We had to take uh, Super Miner 19's uh, Trident into uh, creative mode and make some changes. Uh, basically, he was using Super Cavitation rounds, which are not kosher for this tournament. And we changed out the modules to tracers instead, so they would have roughly the same characteristics. Um, so, uh, do we have any new predictions after I made that change? Um, My turret will go pop again. We'll yes, see. Yeah. Because of uh, the, like everything, pretty much. I, I feel like you don't have much uh, sturdier armor, Geo. After seeing what happened that first time, if. I... Is the is the bulk of your ship actually alloy construction then? Oh yes, so I need to get it high enough to not have my casemates be underwater. Well, he's got a layer of metal on top of it, but that doesn't that's just to say all too much. Yeah, is it just me or the casemates bugging out? Sorry. Uh that's probably because I. Yeah, that's just how they look yeah, when they're spawned in. Yeah. Um, there is one other thing I would like to add, though. Oh yes, mm -hmm. what what do you got? Uh, we picked up an additional observer in the interim, so Matey is here as well. Oh yes, hello. Uh, say hello, Matey. Hello. So my prediction for this is that since that ship was using super cav rounds, there is bound to be a lot of shells bouncing off the water, which could impact mm -hmm. the it's like actual result. It's a tactic that I've actually used a lot myself, using the super cavitation, because... Pretty much all the time, a lot of the most critical components of the ship are below the waterline, so yeah, it's yeah, but that, that somewhat fairly common practice. Damage, yeah, which was used, their strongest shield. Which was also used in the Second World War on Japanese warships. Such an yeah, Irmis all... Well, no, such an Irmis actually killed the light carrier from the US Navy. Huh. That was the biggest, most damaging Irmis in history by a naval shell from the Yamato. Hmm. Good to know. Ooh. Anyway, starting the battle off in three, two, one, go! Opening broadsides. It looks like Geo got a more. few off on the uh, Trident over here. But I imagine those torpedoes are going to change things up pretty quickly. Yeah, because they launch with no like uh, interval, so they can pen uh, very. Yeah, much armor. Uh, quite. If multiple uh, torpedo, sorry, multiple frag weapons or kinetics hit the same block at the same time and destroy it, um, it can cause a lot of them to actually bounce away at high speed. Yes. Yeah. So no interval can actually reduce how effective it is at punching through a, a single bit of armor. True, it seems like true, the but... super cav is struggling uh, this time, or like a super cav, well, it's struggling. Still alive. That's yeah. An improvement. Massive improvement. Ooh, that was a nasty hit though. Look at the blood confetti off that son of a bitch. Aw. Oh. I was just my secondary is going poof. Yeah, some yeah, casemates have been reduced the to dust. Of, like, the, um, it's interesting what you do with the turret rings there, Geo. I like that. Hmm. You mean On the, the secondaries. Casing. Yeah, the secondaries. Uh, we are getting a few penetrating shots down here, it looks like, but nothing major enough to take out anything super important. Do we have any um, torpedoes in the water? Um, were. There were earlier, but I couldn't find them after they were launched. Oh, so well, either... That ship's yeah, it's listing a bit. Oh, that's a bit of list, yeah. So, some of the oh, torpedoes just are actually hit. Yeah, look at the turrets. Some of them are destroyed. The uh, casemate right, guns are almost turrets. disabled. Yeah. I think that's the weight of Geo's we um, weapon batteries taking an effect. You were, you were damaging the turrets in the first attempt as well. Uh, hmm. Geo, just out of curiosity, what shell type did you go with for your mains there? Err... Uh, uh... Pen Death HE Frag, perhaps? I don't remember. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, if it's Pen Death HE Frag, that's gonna rip the turrets a new one. They don't seem particularly well, well armored. Yeah, it looked like uh, they lost um, some gauge yeah. increasers there. That's two and a half I to went three and a half. Everything and anything. It had some really good penetration shots here. Yeah, yeah, that... yeah we got big list right here. 
the shells will be entering from more degree uh, from the deck armor. So deck armor, does he have good deck armor? Uh, he's running. Asking. No, he he's running. Yeah. Geo's lost at least one of his main turrets, but still fighting. Yeah. The trident does it have um, deck armor? Mm, it looks like maybe just a little bit. Yeah, she, she's, yeah. She's, she's, layers of wood. Two she's layers of wood in battle. That's gonna. That's actually relatively good. And at yeah. this angle, it actually it, it is improving her armor. I guess yeah, we got some repairs it, done here because the list is stopped. And people say my ship lacked armor. <laughs> my decks are metal and wood. I just want to point out that the Trident has run out of materials. Uh -oh. Ooh, yeah, that could bite him in the ass here. Yeah. Yeah. I used 10,000 material. Did the material stores get breached, or is it just... Um, it probably just spent most of it trying to repair the hull and get it back to mm. floating upright. Yeah, and we have more torpedoes in the water. Absolutely. It does uh, repair the turrets last. If we I do have some correctly. torpedoes in the water. I say Wait, that's that's grave danger. danger. Well, let's see if they impact. Oh, they're actually yeah. Here. Those they, are they gonna the target as Ooh. well. Yeah, I think and you just lost that gone. turret. Woo. Yeah, yeah, you did. Ooh. That was nasty. That was yeah, that's the problem with this type of hull. You get insufficient armor near the bottom. Yeah, but it looks so good though. <laughs> yes, it looks fantastic. If only Geo had more time but... to develop, you could have bolted the top of it. Well, you could have also had the Geo. Armor, but... Yeah, well. You could have bolted some extra, like, uh, a thickness to the sides to um, get up to the material cost, but could you just made it job. longer. Yeah, but I did leave it in too late, you know? Yeah. Also, it should be turning around by now. I don't know. Nope, oh, there's another torpedo salvo going out. Ah! The two torpedo salvos. I would have known. The trident to be going for my ships. Mm-mm. Not good, not good. You should have add, added, like, <laughs> some torpedo. Ooh, that was, uh, yeah. There's Miss. still another salvo in the water, though. Oh, I know. But we both have a glorious secondary battery. Woo! I think they, they missed, too, have... because I don't gone... see them anymore. They, they seem to have gone amidships, which doesn't bother Geo as much, I, I think. But... There is no main guns in this uh, yeah. citadel. There is only fuel. AK materials and the AI. <clears throat> I I think I think the Trident will have a lot of trouble once its compartments get breached again, since it seems to have an even split compartmentalization, which is a problem in FTD because listing and everything just it's not going to be good. It uh, seems like the torpedo launchers are about the only oh that's going to weapon hurt. system he's got left. Yeah, it's fine. Perfectly fine. Oh, oh almost. <laughs> Damage also, is somewhat uh, superficial. Yeah. Amazing job on the turret caps or um, gun houses. Like, holy cow. You just okay. avoided the wrath of existence there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember him like having a rant over it, like, it's not um, um. It's not a rant. It was a spurg out. Yeah. Uh, that was not the. It was not the um implosion. That is not the correct term. <laughs> oh. I would have uh, gone for something similar, oh, but I needed in, uh, more bolts. Yeah, you could do that with uh, the fragmentation ones because you don't have to worry about them detonating each other when they impact, which is yeah, that's awesome. Good. Why was you aim for my turrets? God damn you! Oh, just lost damn. another turret. Damn. But you at least have more, like, main guns than the um, trident. Hey, I'm still in a lead. Oh, and I lost propulsion too, it seems. Yeah, you, I'm you're right. to the I yeah. know, the, these are like nasty the as hell. Yes, yes, they are, but it's also my armor, which is weak specifically to these I things. think those are gonna miss, but I think yeah, it was yeah, aiming for where it was supposed to be in the... It just lost its propulsion. Yes. But oh, I do have my... Fine. So that's See, not good. Yeah, bo yeah. both sides seem to have their propulsion knocked out, but Geo has one more tur turret still, still firing. So... There's still some uh, torpedoes that could be firing, but for some crazy reason they're not. I, I oh, they're, maybe, there uh, they go. They're, they're yeah. not getting perfect detection. 
you could see that immediately. Oh they're yeah, not... it looked like they were yeah. a little sketchy on if they wanted to fire I, I or not. Like they are in full salvo mode as well. That would make sense. Uh -oh. oh, thank that God didn't it's really... where I don't have anything left. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't really a whole lot left for it to take out in that section of the ship. Keep paying me for the front. So, Geo, have you learned yeah. the lesson of you need torpedo vultures yet? No. No, no. <laughs> well, Join us. You must build torpedoes. I mean, the most I recent mean... project I'm building, you know, uh, I don't know. It doesn't have a name yet, but the thing with the tumble home and casemates, that's going to be a big old tumble home. Damn it. Check out if the Trident's actually moving up. Of its own volition, or if the if it's just the momentum carrying her forwards. Well, we got like less uh, than. It's moving. Yeah, we, we something's turning it back here, but yeah, we still got it's... like less than two it's minutes maybe... before the match is over. So the like, I think the um, I'm engine is heavily damaged, so it only has like uh -oh. power left or something. Oh, no. Another salvo oh, no, torpedo is no, no, no. going out. Oh, that's looking if good. If I lose the turret, so I'm gonna go beneath her in uh, mats, probably. This ain't good. Where is the no. trident getting oh, the material? Oh, it's gonna hit right. Um, the what? turret. Maybe doing passive oh, ammo God. regeneration in this version. Oh, no, oh no, no, Geo no. just no. lost his rear turret. Hey, yeah, still in the lead though. Woohoo! <laughs> <Yeah>. Barely. <laughs> just I barely. Look at all the casemates. <laughs> Yeah. If he gets off another salvo on you, I think he's going to even it up. Those case mates really paid off. Mm -hmm. The Pretoria has getting yeah. out of the firing angle of those torpedoes, though. Also, the Pretoria it still has a little bit of uh, oh, materials left to do repairs with. So, Yeah, she, she repaired her engine. And mm -hmm. she's now out of the angle of the launch for the two forward torpedo tubes, I think. Uh, yeah, but it's... Yeah. We still got a salvo coming in. Oh, relatively one last, one last quickly. Level. I I think those are gonna yeah. miss. Yeah. I'm calling it for the Pretoria already. Wrong one. So yeah, let that be a lesson to you guys who are watching this. Uh, dumb fire torpedoes can be absolutely amazing if you want them to be. Trident uh, and game clutch question mark. Uh, join no, no, next video up. to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Trident, get one more hit in. You got ten seconds. I think the way how to do dumb fire torpedoes is one-way turns, honestly. Because mm. if you get aimed down the range for a, a yeah. kilometer oh. away... That's the position. end of it. Uh, looks like uh, Geo's Pretoria is uh, taking the lead in least damage By taken. 5%. That was a actually a very good match. We haven't had you know, one that went out to the end like this before, I think. Flawless victory. Oh, glory to Geo. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> one round more. So congratulations yeah, to Geo holes. on the first round. So yeah. let's reset and start that again. Um, I'll just quickly I, think, comment. Yeah, I think the Trident's main issue in this matchup it was its more compact design. And admittedly, it spent, because it spent its resources on getting those torpedo systems installed and running, mm -hmm. that uh, kept it in the fight very effectively and did a lot of damage. But in terms of deck side cannons it could really do with having those spread out more it really seems uh, a lot of these designs have some kind of form of spam or another that they've really clung on to and uh, some of it has been very effective some of it not so much that's that's kind What's of the that? pattern i've been noticing with this uh Geo, I have given up trying to defend myself against people saying I blocked found <laughs> my ship because no matter what I say, people just keep saying it. <laughs> it's, it's wood. It's inherently block spy, but it's also the best defense. I made it out of wood. I was very careful to space my stuff, and to be honest, a lot of that wood is actually reinforced wood or backed with metal plating. Mm -hmm. Actually. Yes, actually. Actually, there is actual armor in the four keys. It's not just a big wooden behemoth like a cathedral. Existent enters chat. <laughs> it should be pretty interesting, though. It is. 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 In the, um, in the next tier match when we go up a bracket uh, I am Mark 3 ship is going to be facing off against Yar the Bugs 
design, so that should be interesting because I think Yar's design will counter it just a bit better. Yeah. Wasn't Yar's that one which had a lot of internal wood and was also labeled as Blocksmith? Um, I don't really oh, think it. Else's. No, you're thinking of someone else. Yars was the one that uh, had the Cold War era look, and it was it did Lots a bunch. Of H -E. Yes, tons of he spam. It's got oh, oh that, the confetti will fly. Oh yeah, I, I'm actually she looking forward guns. to it. Perfect balance. Smolensk's got 32 main battles, so that's hmm. going to be scary. But the one thing I'm noticing right here is that. One turn torpedoes with a one kilometer aim down range would do pretty well since that's something I have uh, I have looked at and it seems quite deadly since you can't pick it up on passive sonar from long range. And also, um, you can't spoof torpedoes that are dumb guide or yeah, dumb guidance. Um, uh, unguided. One one quick counterpoint to that though. Mm. You've got to remember that in this tournament, the ships are deliberately speed limited. Yes, that oh, is yeah. true as well. Yeah, but if you're countering like the Onyx Watch, they are excellent weapons to use. On... <laughs> yes. Beca because setting the move. aim down range for a kilometer, they will keep going to the point that they predict the enemy will be at. Which they will, because at some they point. don't fucking move. All right, so... Yeah. Also, one question. Mm-hmm. Um, is there any craft with the cramps in this? Uh... Oh yeah. yeah, there was. Uh, the last time I recorded this, I believe it was the Chaz boy. He pretty much did almost nothing but he crams. Um, I oh, yeah, trees design was... has crams, and that's all I can remember off the top of my head. And then that's like easy. oh, um, absolutely obliterate um, detection. The Nalaru had crams too, if I remember correctly. As They're like side-mounted casemates. Also, one more comment. Yes. Do some goddamn research. Wait, you haven't been 15 hours in this uh, um, ship website? Eh, noob. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, let's go ahead and start off the next round. Um, one, one moment. Oh, yes. Um, Norwegian Inquisition. Yes. May I say you fit in just fine among those um, idiots that, uh, that follow this Discord. <laughs> uh -huh. We're a you collection of, of weirdos, yeah. and that's what makes us all get along so well. Oh, yep. he's been given the on title of honorary idiot. The, yes, the highest honor we can be bestow one upon one a one. person. One of us. <laughs> Did you just call me idiot? No. Yes. No, he I'm, called I'm everyone an idiot. idiot. I'm fucking stupid. Right. Honorary idiot. That doesn't mean you are an idiot, but it increases the possibility slightly. Mm. Mm. Because you fit in here. Uh, all right, so we ready to kick off this next round? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think we're waiting for it. Okay, yeah, here we go. Chat. No, you're fine. That's oh, fine. Also, I gotta go eat dinner now. See ya. I'm sure oh. some people find the side talk amusing. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Yeah. Same here. And Four. here goes that first torpedo salvo. Oh boy. It looks like it's pretty on target at the moment. Yeah. You know, Four. if... Time for torpedo oh, beat, question turrets. mark? Forward turrets, gone. Yeah. Snap. Um, no. no. They scattered oh. too much. Oh, sorry. It takes Damage is somewhat superficial. Yeah, it takes two salvos, that's what the, the inner What the hell did you... <gasps> they took my AI and detection. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ooh, uh -oh, that was a nasty She's hit. Cool. She's blind now. Wait, do you have detection in like one central area? Gio? And there oh, goes a turret. There, but my back turrets are dis disabled, so they took out one AI somehow. Um. Oh, look at that wa waterline damage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, there is not much Daka left to fire. This might be the first... Uh... Session where it goes like three full rounds here. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna go three rounds. I am. Yeah. She's lost already. Over. GG. <laughs> that was quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, this. It's over. Mm -hmm. the, th the thing is, you managed to disable oh. all the turrets, but then that torpedo salvo completely finished you. 
Can we get a look at the trident? See how the trident's doing? Absolutely. I I think find it it looks like he's getting another percent. torpedo salvo off. Okay. Yeah, one tried it. Got hit, but which one was it? I think uh, it was this one here. Fine. Yeah, but she's fine otherwise. Mm -hmm. I do look, wonder look, how look like a... the hell that happened, though. Oh, I, I think it's um, a lucky hit. Managed to just uh, oh, yeah. punch straight through the side armor on yours, too. Yeah. yeah, a lucky hit, but that's just a very lucky hit. It happens. Oh, your, your AI is back online, it seems. Yep. And okay. then we just had a huge it's bit firing. of black confetti. He just yep. barely has a single turret going there. No detection, though. Yeah. Yeah. And ammo's gone. The ammo stored in the back has exploded, I believe. I have two. Oh. Oof. <laughs> Overpens. Mm-hmm. <sighs> We're getting into the World of Warships game mechanics, I see. Just mm. a wee bit. Oh. Hank. Trident can keep its weapons wow. intact. It can inflict a lot of damage. But oh, yeah, keeping definitely. them intact seems to be something it struggles with. Hmm. Absolutely skewered. I think we're probably going to get a 55 Propulsion. below. Propulsion's gone, I think. Mm hmm. No, it's almost all over with but the crying. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at how fast the trident consumes her res resources, though. Mm hmm. That's insane. Yeah, Trident's uh, about to burn out of resources here any moment. Uh, Geo's still got about 12k going on there. Is the, is the Trident like the Forkies, having a large um, reserve of ammo stored? Because it, it does have those heavy torpedoes. Those torpedoes can eat ammo pretty quickly. Mm. Wait, so are those heavy no torpedoes? So, sorry, I mean, they're, they're mediums. They're comparatively oh, heavy. Okay. Yeah, we can get a closer look at them real quick if you want. Oh yeah, they're, they're mediums. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if they were heavies, that, that would have been, sorry, uh, large torpedoes, that would have been really obvious, but they are pretty hard hitting, that's why I called them heavies. Oh, I see. Heavy mediums. Uh, I also called them heavies because I, th I think the Forky has the only light torpedo battery in the tournament. Hmm, small. Yeah, small ones. I think I'm going to try to stream this again on Friday before I go to work if you guys want to watch this again. Yeah. Honestly. I think Geo Ship is worried about the Kraken. It just fired a shell straight down into the water. Yeah. Mm. Stay away from me. Stay away mm. from me. I'll get my place on the seabed. Hmm, yeah. But... Well, no, she won't because she cannot sink. Oh, we. So you no never will be below 80% in sinking, yet. Yeah, 80% in sinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, never. In sinking. I, th I think that's how that... buoyant that... she is. Yeah, I think that kicks in only if, like, um,. If the ship is sinking enough, but yeah, alloy construction mm -hmm. yeah. is keeping that thing afloat. Yeah. I th I think the per yeah Victoria? with the torpedo bulge, this thing would have th this thing would have been insanely dangerous. Yeah, I only made you, the... you didn't have a torpedo bulge. Yeah. <laughs> I I only ah. made the I only made the changes to the Kyushu for a an extended but below water. Belt after uh, I had tested against the bullshit. I think we kind of. Yeah, Geo's uh, one one. Pretoria. The winner yeah. for the second round. Very clear winner. Mm. Alright. This means the third round will decide the outcome of this battle. Yes. Congratulations to Super Miner 19. Alright, so let's reset. To be honest, Geo, my first reaction on seeing your ship in this tournament was, is that really one of Geo's ships? Mm, no crenellations and no bulges? Exactly, yeah, that, that's what I meant, because um, I think it sounds so you dirty. a while back, um, mm -hmm. the thing that Dam and I tinkered on, that's the kind of ship style I associate with you, like, really well-rounded, very compact build. But that's excess excessively rounded. Yeah, but it's still yeah. the kind of build style I associate with you, though. Yeah, well, I do have bulgy builds, and uh, that one is just the bulgiest I have a build built. Okay, here we go with round three. Exchanging initial Let's salvos. Initial no, salvos no, are so fast. Salvo. Wow. Now you got a bit of black confetti going on here towards the back. 
to be expected. I f Ooh, that was a good hit too. It looks like you lost one of your secondary guns there. Yeah, that was a casemate going up. Super yeah. minor. Let's see what's going on with you. That's a turret gun. Lost one yep. turret. It seems like yeah, Locked. that's another oh. one damaged. They seem Somewhat. to just get disabled, not dropped, which is really good for him. Bad for me. From what I saw in the first round, the turrets on the trident seem to only really have like one meter armor, so they've barely got any uh, protection on them. The torpedoes that hit the Pretoria for 0.6%, you seem to have all guns still Oof. firing. It's only know? one layer, yeah. I, I kind of got a double deck on this one. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. It does look quite nice. Oh no, I mean an internal deck. It's and two oh, layers. It's it's the wood videos, it's, has missed. Base, then alloy. This is very equal in HP percentage, at least. Like yeah, very yeah, close. Yes. The trident's losing more weaponry though. What the fuck is she aiming at? <laughs> I think I lost some detection. Quite Maybe. possibly. Uh. Yeah, I'm, I think those I'm are going to be on target. Oh dear. It's going to take all those. Holy crap. Are repair bots allowed in this? All Up right, to five. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Five. Woo. At first it was ten, but I think it was Mady said that that might be a bit too much, so I halved it. Really swinging for the fences here. Why is your ship in reverse? I don't know. <laughs> I Look. don't know. It, it looks like he's trying to cross the, the T back. now. Uh, Ooh, that was actually a very good move Ooh. there, because, yeah. Smart move AI. Tactical getting blown away. Woohoo! Yeah, I, I wonder if adding a passive sonar just to pick those up and a munition uh, and munition avoidance here could, could have been a good option. Yeah, but now she's blind, so that's not good. Yeah. I even armored up all my detection. It's un under, you know, layers of... Metal. Did you add any sonar-based detection? Mm, yes, I did. Oh, uh, well, oh wait, was you? No, that, it was yesterday. There was a single a ship had a single 360 sonar, wasn't it? Yes. Or maybe I think I forgot. Uh, that's I think not that's good. Something said. A lot of the ships didn't seem to actually have sonars fitted, mm -hmm. which is kind of strange. I think I got thrown off by the Cold War era technology or something like that. I don't know. There was sonar that's back then. Yes, I, sonar I was know. a thing. I'm not a naval historian. I mean, the, I mean, the Q. If you if you look at some of the ships, they, for example, I still had my sonar centered mostly, which could be problematic with here super finder's design. And mm -hmm. ow, those torpedoes are gonna hurt. And uh, the yeah. after impact. Yeah. Where I have what? no turrets. Yeah, well, your turrets are already fine. dead. Yeah, but look at the block on Fetty. Mm hmm. Now that it's Irrelevant. inside, it's just ripping the ship a new one. I wouldn't matter so much if I still had that direction mm -hmm. left, but you know. We. Yeah, I think I think your design really does just need more detection. That that's. I have a lot of detection everywhere. I just don't have a sonar. Now, I think there's a common a common flaw in the ships that have been in the tournament so far in general is more often than not they've had their detection knocked out too easily. Yeah, but I you think. know, in the superstructure, I have layers upon layers of metal in front of my detection. Yeah, I think adding detection to the turrets is something that is really useful because you'll you'll lose the detection only if you lose the turrets. I do have detection on the turrets. It just seems like it got disconnected somehow. It very well uh, could have, uh, but is uh, that an AI? Oh, is that I think AI it might be uh, an AI switcheroo. That I think we can all agree like, though that uh, redundancy is your best friend when trying to make something tanky. Yeah, yeah look, the, the, the radar is still on the turret, Redundancy, man. redundancy. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it was detecting for the back air, which doesn't have any weapons available. So you may. So you may have switched that up. Because mm. if you take a look, the... that might very well be. Yeah, that turret's pretty much dead. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you, if you had armored rangefinders on the tops, 
and had them connected to the proper AIs, you'd still be fi fighting reasonably well at this point, I think. I think, though, that um, once again, these bouts have gone towards the Trident when the Trident managed to avoid catastrophic damage to its weapon batteries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess it just got a couple of lucky shots in off that first round there. This one is uh, kind of listing to the side quite a bit. Um, she, she switched so Yeah, I she think did she turn around. The other broadside. And they both turned around at some point during this fight. Mm. I have my set to turn around at like 80% or something. But doesn't that doesn't really matter when the damage goes straight through to the other side of my ship. You mean like hmm. that? Uh, yes. No, that was just a turret going poof. Oof. Oops. I think that's any meaningful firepower and propulsion destroyed. And we are below 55%. She's been like that for quite a while. Yep, there we go. <laughs> She's the first few warriors when she lost all the action. Oh, yeesh. Sad times. All right. Well, congratulations to Super Miner 19. Uh, you will proceed on to the next bracket. All right, guys. Any final thoughts before I uh, wrap up the video? Well fought, Gio. Yeah, that <laughs> was actually one of the better uh, brands that we've had here so far. A lot of them have been pretty lopsided up till this point. Yeah. Well, they were quite lopsided for the latter two fights. Mm-hmm. I think this shows one thing. A. Redundancy is key. And B. Armor up your turrets. Yes. <clears throat> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucked up, okay? No need to rub it in. That, 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 the turrets, that wasn't for you. That was actually for the trident. Because if the trident started got hit by two shells, it, it was gone for all intents and purposes. Well, they didn't go, go away. Mine did. He's just got disabled. Mm -hmm. Um, you, Geo, you yeah. generally went out, I think, when their bases got illuminated, or the magazines got touched off. I'm not sure what was happening to those. Yeah, it, it, it was the uh, bases. <clears throat> it was yeah, the bases so of the turrets. It was the bases of the turrets because I, I think I saw only th two and a half layers of armor, and two of those were alloy, which I can uh, actually load it in and frag just check. Frag torpedoes. Yeah, yeah. But for most of that, Geo, um, we honestly didn't see your turret caps getting damaged that much. No. So I think your, your turret armor um, above deck, at least, seems to be fairly good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I didn't just I just didn't count on torpedoes. So I didn't build against it. So, fuck me. <laughs> I mean, it's like... Well, it's a double know. elimination, so you you might have a chance to come back from this, so... Hey, you know, next time I fight, it's probably going to be even more torpedoes. Uh, the next fight will start with the first of the uh, losers brackets, and I believe that's going to be the Nalaru versus. Um, I I can't remember who the hell's ship that was. I believe it belonged to a uh, Mod Deuce, some kind of cruiser, or something. Yeah, heavy cru cruiser class Mace V three. Yeah, that's the name he went for with yeah. it. Uh, Yar the Bug was kind enough to refit it for him so it could participate in the tournament. It had some issues with uh, the the uh, power generation. So, yeah. So that's where I'll be starting off here next time. So I'd like to thank uh, you all so... for watching. Oh, did, did you want to add something real quick before? Yeah, the armor. Uh, it is four meters of metal. No, I mean two meters of metal and what two... Oh, what the fuck am I talking? Two and a half meters of metal and three of alloy. But then I did a fucking stupid and th thought, I need air gaps! Ooh! Mm -hmm. Which Choice I don't think I... Yeah. Mm. So I have this nice big fat air gap because heat is not in this tournament, goddammit. And there it is only one, two, three layers of armor. Though I think Fast. you did pretty well, all things considered. I mean, this is the only match so far that's gone for a whole three rounds, so. Yeah, I guess. Just saying. So. Just saying. Uh, both ships did really well. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and wrap this up then. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Damaduck82. Y'all have yourselves a hell of a day, and keep your hammer high. Later. <laughs>